We are here at the studio with our customer Eteplan. Welcome Iro, welcome Juha. And we're going to have some discussion about 3D simulation and how it's used at Eteplan. But maybe uh, if you guys can uh, tell me first a bit about Eteplan, Iro, maybe a few words. Yeah, thank you Mikko. Uh, Eteplan is an engineering company, nearly 4,000 engineers globally in China, Finland, Sweden, Mid-Europe, Netherlands, Germany, Poland and so forth. Uh, we are mainly concentrated on industrial uh, equipment design and engineering. Uh, we are divided into three business areas, which are uh, engineering services, where you and I are coming from. And then we have uh, embedded software and cloud applications as one of them, and then uh, technical documentation. Mm. That's briefly about the Etteplan and being founded at 83, 83. stock listed company in Good. Finland. Thank you. So Thank yeah, you. you have quite many heads around the world working with different kind of be it uh, design or automation or whatever challenges and helping customers. Yeah, that's true. We have a very strong uh, footprint in, 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 in engineering, in automation, electrics and mechanical engineering and, 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 and other areas as well. Okay. And if we maybe start with you, Juha, if you can explain a bit how does visual components for you show up in your own job responsibilities or field of work? Yeah, so I've been now working five years as a auto, part of automation engineer team mm -hmm. and we've been using visual components for mainly virtual commissioning and testing. So we are, uh, before we got the, uh, get the actual equipment, we are using visual components to test our software and uh, maybe concept ideas and have a bit of go through with the customer that should it look like this, should it look like that and mm -hmm. go through the details on how uh, how the system should work, how we are using the software, how we are, how we should develop the code. Okay, and this yeah. all happens before the actual investments start to take place. Yeah, so we start take visual components in the early phases of the project. We define the concept phase. This, this is something it should uh, good look. Mm -hmm. And there, usually there's like three, four options and we go them through, finalize the design or the concept there, then go forward with the pre-design and detailed design and then we implement more, more and more features to the module. Yeah, okay, thank you. And maybe if Iro you can explain, I mean you may have a different point of view than Juha is on the actual practical things and <laughs> making money for the company like on the practical level, but how about you? Yeah, I try to sell these yeah. things. Uh, yeah, I, I, I use the VC model uh, for sales purposes. As, as Juha mentioned, we have this concept show phase and redesign phases and stuff like that. Uh, we use the VC model in sales, sales mm -hmm. to convince the customer that the solution what we offer to them is, is what they are expecting and sometimes they don't have the clear expectations that uh, when we convince the customer that is this what you are looking for mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's been used in the sales phase in early phase of uh, discussing with the customers about the about those things and mm -hmm. uh, like you have mentioned we, we take the, that discussion through the visual model to the next phase and so forth yeah. so so it's it's been used in a very very early phase of yeah. of, of, uh, of uh, projects so it kind of maybe helps to create the confidence and understanding and therefore maybe having the stakeholder buy-in before going again forward with the with the implementation yeah definitely yeah these um, projects are mainly investment projects so yeah. the convincing customer convincing ourselves that, that, that they're making the right choice is mm -hmm. everything. So that, okay. that, that helps a lot in that kind of okay. environment. Good to, hear. Good to hear. So visual components has been now in use for five years or so at Eteplan. And uh, how do you see the benefits if you think about the, both the business processes in general as well as then the project work? Um, if you, if you think what kind of projects do you typically use it for or what type of applications? Let's start mm. from that and then, then go to what kind of benefits you see that you can kind of harvest from this. Maybe if maybe you here go first and if you think about the business in general, how does it help you in generating new business or speeding up business or approaching your customers? How do you see it? Yeah, I would say the... Uh... 
again the sales process when we when we start selling or marketing mm. things it's 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 that it helps us that 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 we have something to talk about we have mm-hmm. something to show to our customer rather than just words and written documents you can easily make quick conceptual design and offer this is this this answer to your challenges and 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 and, and the benefit comes through through that but it also comes through the fact that you don't need to do things many times over and over again because then you can utilize the work done in the earlier phase of the sales process in engineering phase mm-hmm. and uh, convincing i would say the convincing that the customer is investing into the right solution is everything so yeah. it's 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 true benefit and for us it's of, of course the benefit that we can think that this this something that we are capable of doing is this something that we can do verifying the uh, ideas what we have and, and and put those into the VC model and try them out and and then to take it to the next level so yeah. and of course that speeds up the time because you don't need to do things all over again, again and so forth yeah. so okay thank you and basically i guess you how you are already you and the rest of the team are involved all already in the early steps when designing the concepts but then then you also kind of roll up your sleeves and you start to do the actual automation design so how do you see it uh, how how has this changed the way you work with project and what kind of benefits you see uh, i think the main benefit is that we have an open discussion through visual model with the customer so we get we are talking about the same things at the same time it's easier to show on a model that this is how it works this is what we are meaning rather than going through with traditional tools that uh in this actual row it looks like this and so on mm-hmm. it's it's much easier using visual models to show that this is what we are meaning and this is the crucial point that we need to solve we get an idea on that this is uh the main point that is obstructing our ideas that the customer has a point of view that it looks like this on their point of view and we see it differently but showing with through the visual model in early phases we get rid of these obstacles on the way misunderstandings between yeah. us and the customer yeah so we are the main thing is that we're talking about the same thing about all the time mm-hmm. okay can you think we we may later go more in depth with certain projects but if you think on a generic level about different kind of applications that you do to the customer could you provide some like concrete example of what you maybe weren't able to do earlier or what you can now do better so do something in a nicer way or maybe earlier in the process not at the shop floor at the customer side but on offline on the screen or at least in your factory when you can maybe do it a bit earlier or or not with the real production system anything comes to mind um main main project that we're using visual components with our robot project but we are also uh, designing machinery where we are using quite complex tools to control the system and or uh, using tools in the uh, machinery that are quite complex so mm-hmm. we need to implement the code or the automation software quite early and then test that uh in relation to the actual movement of the machinery okay we get the feedback quite early and uh, are able to react to that feedback so it's a when designing new type of machinery we get the most out of visual component models so we are implementing something new and we are not 100% sure mm-hmm. how it should work how it works what to uh, take into account when yeah. utilizing the code so that's the most uh informative output from the okay. visual models so basically if you have changes in your control <coughs> code you can see how that affects the model or if you change the model you can again see that does that mm-hmm. affect something that you need to change on the control side yeah or? yeah because usually it goes so that you don't think of all the consequences when mm-hmm. you're making a small change either on the hardware side or on the software side you don't think on all the possibilities that could change and then by implementing that change to a visual model or virtual model it's much easier and cheaper than implementing mm. that change to a real machinery so we get that input and we can actually test much more 
uh, opportunities or we get more opportunities to test mm -hmm. options on on the virtual model rather than buying actual hardware yeah. on the actual machinery. So if, if you plan to fail, it's easier and cheaper to do it on screen than <laughs> on the shop floor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I guess you don't plan to fail. That's why you're doing <laughs> oh, this. Well, thing. sometimes it's <laughs> actually... That's a lot on I would say. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's also a plan to fail. Yeah. <laughs> test, test the... Find the limits. Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, like you have said, that, that, that the benefits are in a phase when we are developing something new. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if you think the tra traditional way you are making your uh, design and then you're making order of the components that need to be manufactured then you order them you have delivery times for those then you put them together into a piece of uh, some mechanical uh, construction and then you start testing that takes a whole lot of time yeah. and if you find the error there you need to repeat the whole process and that may take yeah. months now we don't need to go through that because we have the uh, virtual model in our screen yeah. and we can start to do it uh, fairly early phase in the project. So you save a lot of time. I would, I can't say any specific number, but say at least 50%, 30% mm -hmm. time is saved. Yeah. And a lot of errors can be found, like you have mentioned, yeah. in early phase. So and it's so, true. So basically you can do kind of concurrent engineering, especially in the field of automation engineering, that the automation design process can start even if the mechanics is not yet ready. Yeah, yeah. So so it's not the traditional that uh, ship your automation engineer in the box with the device to yeah. the customer, but yeah. you can actually start the process earlier. Yeah, yeah. especially when we talk about the R&D projects. Yeah. We have, we use the VC for not only the uh, production solutions, production mm -hmm. automation, like yeah. you have mentioned, robot cells or, or any kind of uh, discrete component manufacturing processes. We also use it for uh, any kind of equipment, okay. engineering, where you have a, some kind of a moving uh, mechanical construction yeah. and, and you want to move that through the uh, some kind of uh, control system like okay. PLC. How, what's the scope typically for you? <clears throat> do you only only cover the like uh, robots and conveyors and grippers or do you also go to the area where you involve even human operators or forklift trucks or warehousing yeah, equipment? Yeah. Yeah. So you do yeah. that also. Yeah. 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 And you do everything then of course with the same platform so same platform. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is this something like uh, did you do anything like this before using visual components? Did you do simulations either for material flow or then maybe robotics you had something just for robotics or Yeah, for robotics but not for the uh, flow of the material yeah. not that much. Okay. Or it was done through the uh, Excel spreadsheets and and, and, and and these kind of calculations mm -hmm. so, and so forth. But, yeah. but, but to put it in not actual, exactly. so, so now you can do the basically complete flow or complete line. Yeah, complete. Uh, also even. the in-depth robot cell and even connections to the control code whenever the project yes. needs it. Exactly. Okay.